Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about Gorda66 who is a disabled YouTuber and Nikita Dragon. So I saw a video by Rich Lux, I'll link it down below. This is kind of a really depressing story. I'm going to try my best to give you both sides of the situation as far as I know. Basically, Gorda66, I will link her down below and her video down below. Go ahead and subscribe to her and show her support, okay? She is a disabled YouTuber. She went to meet her favorite, you know, YouTube stars at Generation Beauty and she has a video of it, okay? And basically, she uh, got to take pictures with Michelle Phan, Nikki Tutorials, everybody was really nice to her, Patrick Starr. And then um, an Instagram video came out from her friend calling out Nikita Dragon for not wanting to take a picture with Gorda66. And I will link that Instagram video down below so you can see it yourself, okay? It will be linked in my description box. So who is Nikita Dragon? Nikita Dragon has 400,000 subscribers. She does a lot of videos on transgender issues, her own transitioning. She does makeup tutorials, Q&As. She does story times. You might recognize her from Jeffree Star's beauty campaigns. She is a friend of his and she's been in a lot of his videos. I do know that she shot the campaign for his next um, palette, the androgyny palette, okay? So she's a friend of his. And basically, what Gorda66 is saying, and obviously she can't really speak too much, so her friend is saying it for her, is that she asked for a picture with Nikita Dragon and Nikita refused her, allegedly, possibly because she is disabled. So the first thing I have to say is, let's just go with Gorda's story. Okay, first of all, my gut reaction is I doubt that they would make this up because the whole thing is ridiculous since, you know, she has a whole vlog of everyone being super nice to her, super sweet, all the beauty gurus were so nice to her, taking photos with her as they should, you know? And she's saying that Nikita Dragon basically dissed her out, refused to take a picture with her because, you know, the girl is disabled. And do I think that they're making it up? No. My gut reaction, like a human, like first gut reaction, yeah, I think they're probably telling the truth. I think Nikita probably didn't take the picture with her, okay? And obviously, I'm sure this hurt her so much. I know her friend was really fired up about it, obviously, because you know, what really happened there. Now, before we go any further and before we completely vilify Nikita Dragon, I just want to say, look, most of you weren't there. I wasn't there either, right? I don't know what happened. Did it happen exactly like the girl is saying? It is a huge possibility that it did. Maybe it didn't. At the same time, um, I wanted to say that maybe there was an emergency that Nikita was having. Maybe Nikita got sick. Maybe there was a misunderstanding. Those are things to keep in mind before anybody vilifies Nikita fully and attacks her fully. And if, as always, I do not encourage anyone to go to Nikita's page and say anything to her. Please don't bother her on social media. You know, the things that we talk about here, it doesn't mean that you should ever bully anyone or harass them on social media. I do not encourage anyone to do that, okay? So again, we were not there. We don't know exactly what happened. Before fully vilifying Nikita, we need to really find out what really happened because none of us were there. Did she not take a photo with this disabled girl because she was disabled? Or was it like another circumstance that we are right now not privy to, not aware of, that happened that made Nikita not take that photo? We will never know. I know I will never know unless Nikita releases a statement. So I just want you guys to like look at the situation like from a calm point of view as much as you guys can. Obviously, this is very disturbing. I'm very upset about it, but you know what I mean? Let's just like cooler heads prevail, okay? So now let's discuss this whole idea if Nikita really dissed her out because she's disabled. Look, if this happened the way this girl is saying that this happened, and yes, I myself believe her that it did happen this way, this is terrible. The bottom line is disabled people never get treated properly. They never get treated, you know, the way that they really deserve. And I think the bottom line is disabled people just want to be treated just like everybody else, okay? Just like everybody else, normal behavior. And I think a lot of the times people think that disabled people are different. A lot of people have these bad opinions that disabled people are, you know, derogatory things and they're not. They're just like you and I. It's just that they have a disability that they cannot help. Obviously, this girl, you know, she can't help who she is. She can't help her disability, but her disability is a part of who she is, not 
like exactly everything that she is. This girl loves makeup. She loves meeting her favorite YouTubers. And yes, Nikita Dragon, if you did that and if you dissed out this girl because she was disabled and you were too good to take a picture with her because she was disabled, that's just wrong. That's just not a good look. And I hope that's not true. I have a feeling that it is. And if it is, that's just terrible. Okay. What I don't understand about this whole situation is Nikita Dragon has had so much adversity in her life and has gone through so much. So I'm just, I, I'm almost like in disbelief. I cannot believe that this happened the way they're saying that it did because for somebody like Nikita who has gone through so many negative things in her life and who has come out on top and who has had, you know, adversity to kind of shun a woman who loves her and who just wanted a picture, she didn't want anything from her, just a picture. That's really terrible, okay? I don't know, like, people who are disabled do not get treated fairly. In this country, at least, okay? I don't know about other countries, but obviously a lot of people look down upon disabled people. They make fun of them. They don't want to be around them. And it's not fair. It's discrimination. And mainly, it's just, like, not fair. Like, look, all that girl wanted was a picture with Nikita. Was it really that difficult to take a picture with a disabled fan? Yeah, I'm going to go with no on that one. Like, it was not a big deal. A picture takes a second. If Nikki Tutorials could take a picture, if Patrick star could be nice if Michelle Fawn could be nice I just I don't see how Nikita gets off doing this and again to be fair I wasn't there maybe it didn't happen this way this is what's being reported and I just feel so bad for this girl all she wanted was a damn picture with her favorite youtuber I do not think that's too much to ask and it's like put yourself in her shoes she was going to Generation Beauty to meet all her favorite YouTubers. She got all dressed up, she did her makeup really nicely, and Nikita Dragon dissed her out and wouldn't take a picture with her. Now, I just wanted to say, did she not want to take a picture with her, again, because she's disabled, like they are claiming, or because it was something else? See, I wish that Nikita would release a statement so we would know 100%. People sometimes F up. Sometimes people make mistakes. Okay, look, we're all human. Nikita's human, we're all human, and sometimes people do not put their best foot forward, right? Sometimes people make mistakes, they wish they did something other than what they did, and they really F up, okay? And at the end of the day, that's okay to be a human being and F up, and if Nikita Dragon would come out and say, look, I just wasn't feeling it that day, I was having a bad day, I was sick, I didn't want to take any pictures with her, I didn't want to take any pictures with, with anybody. I think people could maybe on a human level understand that, but staying quiet about the situation is not going to help anyone. Like, this is the bottom line. If Nikita Dragon refused to take a picture with that girl because that girl is disabled, that is terrible. I do not support Nikita Dragon for that, and that is just plain wrong. Check yourself. Become humble, which I thought she was, but I don't know what's going on. However, if there was a mitigating circumstance and maybe it was a misunderstanding, then Nikita should just say that and, like, make that girl feel okay again because, obviously, I will guess here that that girl felt like, oh, she doesn't want to take a picture with me because of the way that I look and my disability. And that's terrible. That girl is beautiful. I definitely want all of you to go and subscribe to her if you're not already. And, yeah, discrimination sucks. Let's just be nicer to one another. If someone is disabled, take a damn picture with them and keep it moving. It doesn't take anything out of your day to take a one-second picture that is literally a few seconds with a disabled fan. You know what I'm saying? No hatred towards Nikita. I wish everyone mentioned here all the best. I hope things work out. I hope Nikita addresses this. If not, unfortunately, that's going to be life. So here's a bunch of Care Bears to make you feel better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to Gorda66. Thanks so much for being here. I will see you next time. Stay tuned for the Care Bears. Bye.